Well, for 50 years, BTCV has been doing something very special and really quite unique. It offers people from all walks of life, both in the UK and overseas, the chance to have a green volunteering day. And that's a very practical experience. It's a very hands-on uh, day. You learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about your environment, but you have the wonderful satisfaction of, at the end of the day, looking at the work you've achieved. Last year, uh, we counted, and we've been able to count now in the last couple of years, 287,000 people, it's an extraordinary number, uh, volunteered uh, with us. They come from all backgrounds and all ages. Uh, we have no age barrier, and I have met volunteers as young as uh, six, and I have met volunteers well in their 80s, and embarrassing me with uh, their physical activity and uh, stamina. Up to now, we've really never talked to our volunteers about climate change. And what we've discovered through some recent research is because of that day, you begin to reflect upon your environment and the fact it does matter to us all. And what's very interesting is seven out of 10 volunteers actually go away from a day and begin to make some personal changes. And that can be as simple as turning the light switch off, perhaps doing some recycling for the first time. And also people feel much more comfortable to talk to their friends about perhaps changes they should think about as well. Volunteering for a lot of people is quite simply just a day out. You know, if you're sitting in an office, it's a wonderful way to experience the outdoors. And on that level, I suspect for many people, it's not too deep an experience. Uh, it, you just feel very good after it. What we're trying to do is to consciously talk to our volunteers in a very direct way, to say, you've made that personal statement, you obviously care about the environment. What would you be prepared to do uh, in your personal life? What would you be prepared to do in your workplace? I think green volunteers can be huge Trojan horses within businesses. Um, you know, I think we all have them in our own organisations, the people who um, tell you to switch the lights off, tell you not to leave your computer on standby. And I think those acts actually matter more than we've appreciated at the moment. I think we have to prove our case uh, as a voluntary organisation much more formally into the future. It's not surprising when money is tight. I have to convince government that BTCV is a good investment route. So we just commissioned a report on what happens to volunteers uh, when they volunteer in the environment. Uh, we got Prudential to back that as a company and they will unveil that research in a corporate setting, which is actually quite important. It comes out with some significant findings. Um, green volunteering, because it uh, takes place in a team, you're forced to work to some extent with other people. It's very task focused because there is an end to be achieved, whether that's a footpath being repaired or steps being made. You see something in that process. And a number of society outcomes come. I think it genuinely breaks down barriers. Uh, people tend to meet people they've not met in society. That could be race, it could be uh, just a different economic background. Second of all, um, it, keep, it keeps you he healthy. So there is direct evidence now that being in the outdoors and being very active in the outdoors is actually better than an indoor gym. And finally, uh, there are life skills which people learn through volunteering. It could be you have a purpose in a day, so you actually leave the house and go and do something, which you may learn a skill which has a vocational qualification. I'd like more young people to have a, a taste of what the environment could mean in their lives. Uh, we've too many young people growing up in a very alien and a very sterile existence and actually quite afraid of their environment. We have a time bomb in this country of uh, the society ageing and what are older people going to be entitled to beyond work. Uh, the Green Gym, which we've trademarked as an organisation, attracting people in the 50s and 60s to the outdoors is I think one of the most fantastic offers we can make an older generation. If I had any personal ambition, it's that green volunteering is an opportunity that every citizen of the United Kingdom could have on their daily rota and actually freely available to them.